Hey guys, this is going to be a video on uh, setting up a DHCP router in iOS with a Cisco router using Cisco iOS. Um, so I already have it all set up. I'm also going to be using this Kali Linux uh, virtual box that I've set up. Um, got the little diagram, Kali box connected to the router. I'm going to set the router up as a DHCP server and get the Kali box a DHCP address that's been assigned through this router that we set up. It's pretty simple. Uh, first thing you want to do is conf t put the enable the DHCP service on the router. So that should be it. And then we will go into um, DHCP. Actually, before we do this, let's assign this fast Ethernet interface on the router an IP address. And I'm going to be using the 10 address with a slash 24. That should be it. Turn it on with a no shut. Up, get out of there, back to configure. And now back to the DHCP. Let's exclude addresses. Oh, <laughs> that's right. So let's reserve or exclude one obviously as well as up to five and the THCP pool THCP should be pool name And the pool name will be DHC pool. Now we're in DHCP pool configuration. Let's look at our options. So you can set the DNS server. Don't need to in this example. You're going to set the network and set that fast Ethernet interface as the default router. Um, Set the network is going to be the 10 network with a slash 24. Is there anything else? Nope. The default router will be the interface we just assigned. So we have the pool name, the pool, excluded addresses. Set up the interface. Default router network. All right, so this should be good. We should be done configuring this DHCP server. So, end. Now let's go over to the Linux Kali box. Bet you can't guess my password. And let's do an IF config to see what we have. So right now on Ethernet Zero, there's nothing. It has a local v6 address but there's nothing yet so let's do a DHCP refresh client R and fetch it for ether zero thinking. Mm, SMBD service, maybe that's irrelevant, hopefully. Let's see. 
Okay, fantastic. So we did get 10, 6, which was the next one because the last excluded was 5. Okay, I uh, hope that this was helpful in setting up a DHCP server for uh, entry-level Cisco stuff. Uh, I'll also be putting together a video for how to create VirtualBox uh, <laughs> applications or virtual machines and then transport those into VirtualBox so you can, or GNS3 rather, and create really cool networks and simulations and virtual labs, which is very helpful. So uh, see you in the next video. Thanks.